Engineer Candido X. Castro, Chairman Rene Escalante, Architect Renaldo Rin, Mr. Glenn Samonte, Mr. Rudy Casistin, Mr. Joe Moldes, Mr. Julian Soriano, members of the Municipal Tourism Council, headed by its honorary chairman, Madam Lilibet de la Cruz, Honorable Jonathan Gamit, Honorable Don Di Visaya, Honorable Mario Lasso, other distinguished guests, a pleasant morning to one and all. As the NFCB will turn over the restorated bell tower, the people of Bacara, under the leadership of the Honorable Local Chief Executive, Prince Anke de la Cruz Capasi, is forever grateful and beholden to the national government for considering our dreams for future generations to see the beauty and essence of the bell tower. Another history will mark the debut of our beloved town, Bacara. With the constant request of the municipal government, for the record, uh, term, uh, Mayor Emeritus, Diego de la Cruz, had requested the members of the 10th Sanguin and Bayan to pass a resolution asking the national government to raise funds for the restoration of the Bible Tower. And I heard that 15 million have been appropriated for this project. <clears throat> it was finally granted by the National Historical Commission of the Philippines Though it was not the same as before, but still, we Bacarenos are very grateful because we can continuously rise above as the domeless bell tower of Asia is shining vividly. Without further ado, I welcome you all in this momentous event. Pangkada Bacara, God bless us all. Thank you very much, Honorable Vice Mayor Jose Douglas A. Pilar Jr. Now, without further ado, we have anticipated this moment for quite some time now. So let's now move on to the message of our Chairman Rene Escalante by the National Commission of the Philippines, sir. Pagtatanggal po ako ng face mask to the bagong swab naman ako kahapon. So say kayo sa akin. I would like to apologize first of all because our executive director cannot make it because the house was affected by the flooding that happened a couple of days ago. Uh, executive director of the Tutagular Dixie Maritina area 
Yeah, you know what I mean. So, dapat po siya yung kakatawan dito ng LHCP but because of this uh, disaster, he finally called me and baka chairman ikaw muna. So, I have to travel early yesterday just to catch up with this occasion. Uh, basahin ko lang po muna itong handang speech and then afterwards I will share some thoughts on you. Most Reverend uh, Renato Ayuba of the Diocese of Lawag, Mayor Fritzian K. Dinat Cruz Tapasi, represented this patient by Vice Mayor Rosie Douglas Pilar Jr., Reverend Monsignor Noel Ayan Babago, Paris Priest of Bacara, Reverend Father Carlito Ranjo Jr., the Chairman of the Commission on Church Heritage, mga kasama nating kaparehan ngayon, mga kasapi ng Tourism Council, mga parishioners ng paparokya ng Bakara, mga kasama ko sa NHCP, aming contractor, Tiner Lito Lim, isang mapagpalang umaga sa ating lahat. May ugat ang paglaganap ng Kristyanismo sa Bakara sa pagdating ng mga misyonaryong Agustino na sila rin unang nagtatag ng simbahan at kumbento sa bayan sa huling dekada ng ikalabing anim na siglo. Sumailalim sa restorasyon ng simbahan noong 1868 sa pangunan ni Padre Felipe Fernandez, subalit muling nasira sa paghagupit ng lindol noong 1880. Sa kabila ng mga pagsubok na nasaksihan ng simbahan ng Bakara, hindi natinag ang simbahan katoliko na muling isaayos ang buok para ng palataya. Isang taon matapos siya naging ang malakas na lindol noong 1983, opisyal na pinasinayaan at sinaayos ang anyo ng simbahan noong ikalabing pito ng Agosto 1984. Samantala ay pinatayo naman ni Padre Pedro Berger noong 1828 ang tatlong palapag na kampanaryo ng simbahan. Matapos itong mapinsala ng malakas na lindol noong 1931, tuluyang gumuho ang simbolo nito, ang siporyo nito sa muling pagyanig dulot ng lindol noong 1981. Sa bisa ng kautusan ng Pangulo bilang 260 noong 1973, Ininiklara ang simbahan ng Bakara bilang National Cultural Treasure upang ganap itong mas mapangalagaan at maprotektahan. Alinsunod sa tungkuli ng pamahalaan at pangalagaan ng mga makasaysayang po at kusali, naglaan ng pondo ang Pambansang Komisyong Pangkasaysayan ng Pilipinas para panumbalikin ang dating kayusan at kaanyuan ng kampanaryo ng simbahan ng Bakara. Matapos may pagkaloob ang proyekto sa NHCP, agad na sinimula ng ahensya ang pagpapanumbalik sa struktura. Dumaan sa masusing pagsasaayos sa kampanaryo, batay sa mga pamantayang pangrestorasyon ng komisyon upang mapanatili ang autenticidad at pangmatagalang anyo nito. Sa klaw ng proyekto ang pagsasadokumento ng proseso upang magsilbing gabay sa inaharap. Mabusising nilinis at inayos ang hagdan, mga bintana at parilyang bakal ng kampanaryo. Isinaayos at pinatibay ang ladrilyong pader ng gusali. Naglagay ng lime o apog na siyang magpapatibay sa pundasyon ng istruktura. Bukod dito, naglagay rin ng provisyon sa sahig at rinsera sa unang palapag upang maging maayos ang sistema ng daluyan ng tubig. Halos may git isang taon na po nung huli kong nabisita ang bayan nito at napunta lang ako dito ng dalawang beses. Ipangalawa pa lang ito. Una, para makipag-usap yung bishop at yung mga pare na ito po ay aming aayusin. Hindi na po ako nakapunta ng mga sumunod na buwan dahil po sa pandemya at panangabalan na rin po ako sa Manila. Kung tuwa po ako dahil sa kabila ng lahat na may mga problema ang ating bansa ito mga nakarang buwan ito pong ating contractor na katalaga dito ay napakasifat at natapos pa rin po ito sa tamang oras 
Ngayon, nais ko sanang pasalamatan ang mga taong nasa likod ng restoration project na ito. Siyempre, ang national government na nag-aproba ng aming budget proposal. Nais ko rin pong pasalamatan ang aking mga kasamahan sa National Historical Committee, a commission. Andito po ang ating chief architect, si architect Ray Dita. Andito kasama ko rin po ang aming chief engineer, si engineer Andy Castro. Narito po rin aming project, isa sa mga project in charge, si engineer Rudy Asirin. At kasama ko rin po ang aking mga protocol uh, officers. Diyan po si Ellen Samonte, diyan po si Joban, yung aking staff sa chairman's office, si Joe. Uh, kahit po anong sipag ng aking mga kasamahan sa NHCP, kung ang kapartner namin dito ay hindi po masipag, wala pong mangyayari sa restoration na ito. Kaya po nais ko pong pasalamatan at bigyan ng parangal ang presidente ng korporasyon na siyang nasa likod ng restoration na ito, Engineer Lito Lim. Palakpakan po natin. Subok na subok ko na po ito. Matagal ko na rin po itong nakasama. Nagsimula ko po itong makilala noong yanigin ng 7.3 earthquake ang Bohol at Cebu. At isa po siya sa mga nakatuwang namin na ibalik itong mga gumuhong simbahan sa Bohol at Cebu. At matapos po ng tatlong taon, 2017 tayo, graduate doon, ano? And then afterwards, lumipat naman kami ng Bohol, ng Iloilo. So, sila rin po ang napa, na, nakapartner ng NHCP sa Iloilo. At ngayon, nandito po siya sa Ilocos naman. Uh, last September, tinanover natin yung Barasuin. Ano? Mm -hmm. So, maaasahan po ito. Kaya po dito po sa diocese, o kung sino po po sa inyo ang nagbabalak na mag-restore ng mga old structures, I will highly recommend. Uh, J.S. Lim. J.S. Lim. Tanda nyo, madaling madaling tanda niya. Mm. Uh, bago ko po tapusin ang aking panayam, isa lang pong paalala. Pakatapos po ng okasyon na ito, magbabalikan na po kami sa Maynila at may iiwan na po kayo dito. At ang palagi, palagi kong hinahabilin kung ako ay nagtoturn over, alagaan po natin ang gusali nito. Ituring po natin ito. Kayamanan ng ating bayan. So magtulungan po ang bayan, ang parokya, pati na rin po ang mga mamaya ng bakara. Uh, kailangan po nating regular na lilinisin at aalisan ito ng mga halaman. Yan po ang malaking pinagtataka ko simula na mapunta ako sa National Security Commission. Minsan nagtatanim tayo sa ating mga garden ang hirap patubuin ng mga halaman. Or kung bakit yan sa mga ganitong istruktura, ang bibilis Ah, lumago ng mga halaman. Hmm. So walang nagdidili, masasabi mong walang lupa, pero minsan, anin na buwan lang akong nawala, pagbalik ko doon, ako, ang laguna ng mga damo. So meron yata kami ah, may iiwan na ilang mga scaffolding sa diocese, so siguro irotate na lang po siguro natin ito. Dahil ito po mga vegetation na ito, nakakasira po ito sa istruktura na Uh, ano mga built heritage. Kasi po, ang ugat nito umiilalim, pagkatapos tinutulak niya yung mga kamada ng mga adobe. So, pag lumindol, nagkakausap po siya ng mga uh, diferensya. So, pumapasok din ng tubig, so inaagos yung mga binder namin doon sa ilalim. So, simple-simple, pero pag matagalang epekto po nito ay hindi maganda. So, muli, sana ay pakinggan nyo itong payong ito na pagtulong-tulungan po natin ito kasi matagal po siguro kami muling babalik kasi po napakarami namin tinatanggap ng mga request for restoration at kapag natapos na namin ito, lilipat naman po po ngayon sa ibang lugar kung saan nangangailangan ng tulong namin so pagtulong-tulungan po natin pangalagaan itong kampanaryo na bakara sa puntong ito nais ko po Imbitahan ang mga kasamahan ko na may mga pangalan dyan sa mesa na tumuloy na po tayo dito sa harapan para sa formal na pagsasaling 
ng simbahan, ng, ng kapanayon. For Baharabel Tower, the signing of the certificate are between certificate of transfer are between Chairman Bene Escalante of National Historical Commission of the Philippines and Most Reverend Renato P. Mayurba, Bishop of the Diocese of Lobag, witnessed by Engineer Candido H. Castro from National Historical Commission of the Philippines, Mayor Betsy N. K. de la Cruz Capasi, represented by Honorable Vice Mayor Jose Douglas A. Pilar Jr., Reverend Father Nobel E.M.G. Rabago, Parish Priest of St. Andrew the Apostle, and Reverend Father Tony Taranjo Jr., Mission and Church Head Church. And, uh, and so our name, Rene Renato, actually means rebirth. So, panibagong buhay. And the restoration work is actually... Uh, A restoration work is exactly that, bringing back the old glory or a renewal, a restoration. So you may also call our name is Restoration. The name Rene Renato is about restoration. So we are in the path of restoring things. So I wish to thank, of course, the NHCP and the entire staff and everybody, particularly the engineer Lynn uh, for, for this work. And of course, the uh, the cooperation of the LGU uh, led by our uh, mayor and the, and the council, and of course our uh, other uh, parish priest, Apo Ayan, and our director. I would like to to highlight the meaning or the significance of this restoration of the bell tower in the light of what we are celebrating the 500 years of our Christianization. And you know, when the, the Augustinian missionaries came over to establish the pueblos and the, the churches, uh, one of the principal structures that they really built was a belfry, a tower. And uh, we have the theology of what is called the Bajo de la Campana, in which the Spanish friars, uh, when they made the settlement, they put up a tower for double purpose. First, the purpose of faith, in order to call the faithful to prayer, to worship, to the Christian faith. So, a belfry, a tower, is the symbol of our Christian faith. So, by, by restoring the belfry of Bacara, we are signaling our desire of the rebirth or the restoration, the re-strengthening of our Christian faith. In the Diocese of Lawag, we call it Parairaye Ni Pambati, restoration of the faith. But our restoration of the faith is not simply out there in the sky. It is grounded. And so the body, the, camp, the campanera, campan, campanario that the Spanish friars built was not only a, a beacon that would attract people to worship, but it also served as a, I, I believe it was also a watchtower. 
and it was it was also serving the temporal needs of the people and uh, our churches our towers are exactly are also very much works of art culture so therefore the church is a a area of our beautiful uh, tra traditions cultural traditions as Filipinos and part of that cultural tradition that we have is yung tulungan already even when the Spanish friars came these churches these structures were all made possible because of the leadership of the friars certainly but also because of the cooperation of the people and everybody contributed to these structures that were built. And that tradition, we ought to continue even today, and especially today in Sugoro. And uh, this beautiful partnership of uh, national or government agencies and the church is a beautiful model of uh, a continuing relationship that can only bring much fruit uh, to our people and to our church. I'd like to highlight here my deep gratitude and continuing relationship with NHCP and the other government agencies in this area because from here we will go to Pauai and uh, I'm still praying. We have other beautiful churches here. We have uh, Sarat is a is nagano na nga ito eh nag nag jelly na eh nag jelly na eh bakit yung aking church sabi niya sa sarat maganda na nga eh nagalay ka Facebook and uh, many other churches and the 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 Ilocos that the Diocese of Lawak has been really blessed with this cultural Pressures and may we continue to do that. So I look forward to a continuing and beautiful relationship with the NSCP. Again, thank you. We are much honored and we are very grateful for this. Thank you. Thank you very much, Apo. We are we, we now move on to the blessing of our newly restored Bahara Bell Tower. And nothing is to be refused if it be sanctified by thy word and prayer. Look down now, O merciful one, we humbly beseech you upon our prayer and upon this bell tower, which your servants have restored to the glory of your holy name, and through your heavenly blessing and the prayers of us, your unworthy servants, mercifully bless and sanctify it, and manifest it also as fit for the service of your most exalted praise, and grant remission of sins by your heavenly grace unto them that have constructed it and enabled them to be partakers of thy kingdom. For you are a God of mercies and compassion and love for mankind, and unto you do we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Do the honor. Thank <laughs> you. 